we're going to check out 8.6, the greenhouse effect. So the greenhouse effect is a natural process, essentially where the Earth's atmosphere traps in heat. So uh, here's our uh, here's our sun right here. So what's happening is we've got sunbeams that are coming down. They hit the surface and some reflect out. Other ones come down, hit the atmosphere and reflect out. And still other ones come down, hit the surface, hit the atmosphere and reflect back down. So uh, essentially what's happening here is our atmosphere is acting, like I said, as a, a trap and it's trapping some of this heat. So some of the heat that gets trapped in is what causes our planet to have its natural temperatures. Without the atmosphere, uh, clearly we wouldn't have the greenhouse effect. And uh, what would go on is we would have much different temperatures. But what's happening is with the greenhouse effect is essentially like there's the natural greenhouse effect I just talked about. And then what happens is when we add in these gases to the atmosphere that thickens it up, what happens is we get sun rays coming in that would normally leave, but then they get trapped and they're actually reflected back in. So what's going on here is our temperature is keeping more sun um, in, and so essentially we're having warmer temperatures. So our atmosphere is keeping more sunbeams in warmer temperatures. So there's a couple of gases that we consider to be greenhouse gases. So we know the atmosphere is made of nitrogen and oxygen, so not those two. Uh, we've sort of got two groups here. The first the main group is water vapor is a greenhouse gas, so it traps and carbon dioxide. So these are like your main two culprits. And uh, yeah, water vapor, there's lots of water on the planet already. And carbon dioxide, we'll talk about that on another slide. There are a couple other greenhouse gases too. They're kind of minor ones they're considered. This is methane, CH4. Uh, ozone is O3, and this is dinitrogen oxide, dinitrogen monoxide, sorry, sorry. And so these ones also trap in heat, but not quite as well. They're not quite as prevalent as those ones. So let's, let's expand a little bit more on it. We've got carbon dioxide. Here's a picture of the carbon cycle you might have uh, looked at in uh, grade nine. So essentially you've got uh, carbon buried in the ground long ago here and it's being mined, it goes into uh, you know our cars, our motors, our engines, it's burnt as fossil fuels, and those emissions are returned to the atmosphere. And in the normal process, trees and plants would take that carbon dioxide and uh, they would put it back into, uh, uh, into the, they take out the carbon, they would use it to grow, and then they'd have oxygen. So you get this big cycle going on. But of course, what's happened over time is we've mined more of this, uh, of the fossil fuels. So the more we take, the more CO2 gets put back into the atmosphere. So that's trapping greenhouse gases in. And um, second thing that's going on here is there are things called carbon sinks. These naturally remove carbon dioxide and uh, they're actually being removed. So things like the, the forests, uh, the, uh, you know, or the rainforests or, or deforestation or things like that, they're removing these carbon sinks. And so there's actually fewer of these ones. And so less carbon dioxide is being removed. So that's the deal with carbon dioxide. Water vapor here, on the other hand, uh, this is called a feedback loop, so a process in which the original acts to influence, influence the uh, original process. Sorry, a process in which the result acts to influence the original process. So kind of join this, again, it's a cycle here. So there's lots of water on the planet, so more water leads to higher temperatures, higher temperatures lead more to more water vapor. So you've got your water, the temperature rises, you get more water vapor, and then the more water vapor there is in the atmosphere, the more it traps. So that's, that's what's going on with water. The other, uh, the other three, just a couple side notes about them. We've got methane. Uh, methane is introduced by decomposition and animal digestion. So that's natural process for methane. Ozone is just already kind of there. It's the ozone layer. So an increase in the ozone layer could cause temperatures to rise. And a nitrous oxide here, dinitrogen monoxide, uh, it's 300 times more powerful than carbon dioxide, but there's kind of very little of it out there. It's produced in natural uh, soil, uh, like bacteria breaking down things in the soil. So there's your greenhouse effect in a nutshell. It, it's, it's good in a sense that it keeps temperatures uh, a little bit warmer on the planet than they naturally would be, but when we have too thick an atmosphere, the greenhouse temperatures uh, get out of control. That's what's happened on Venus. Venus has a very thick atmosphere and it's trapping in all the heat. That's why it's the hottest planet in the solar system.